challenge. I like a challenge. And there's nothing more challenging than walking up to a blank wall with like, I mean, I don't use projectors anymore, so it's really just me and a wall and some paint. When we got the call from the county, we were happy to say, let's put a recycling center here, but let's find a way to create art around it. So what we did was we came up with a design with a plan to create art around it. And in the long term, what you'll see are probably some more upcycled art installations around it so that we make, make it into an art garden. But the first important step was starting with a really great mural. I subscribe to the thought that murals should really say something. We have this awesome ability to use these canvases to bring messages to people that wouldn't necessarily maybe look at art or question things. And one of the big concerns right now is really single-use plastics and just any plastics ending up in the ocean. And there's a figure like 80% of all that plastic that ends up in the ocean comes through rivers. And being someone who is a huge fan of the James, it's one of the reasons I live here. In consideration that this is a recycling center, I wanted to show the importance of what this, this particular center, center kind of represents, that if the waste here is being used and discarded properly, then it doesn't end up in the river. The Cultural Arts Center does a lot of projects with kids. Um, we work with the James River Juvenile Detention Center. We work with Henrico Powell, the Police Athletic League. And what we were able to do was bring some of the kids that we're working with at, at their locations, we were able to bring them here. Nico worked with them. She taught them a lot about grid painting, about how to do murals. And then we could actually take the lessons that they learned here and take it back to the classroom, to their art classrooms, and extend that, that learning. So it was, it was great that she was open to doing that. And that was a very important thing to us. I want to create opportunities for viewers to kind of be involved. And one of the ways I can do that is by creating sleight of eye tricks. Um, and with this fence, it's a two-piece fence, so it was kind of easy to line up. So basically, when you drive up to this fence, you're going to see a school of pumpkin seed sunfish, which live in the James River and are kind of cool because not they're, they're kind of like snowflakes. No two patterning and coloration are the same. So you see a, a school of those kind of floating across the parking lot. But as you get closer and through perspective, the walls separate it pulls apart to see pieces of recyclable plastic floating in the water past, and it's kind of showing the human impact on the native species. What I kind of like about the location of this is that it kind of gets people excited and it gets people talking. So it is my hope that with this piece, people will come and see, hey, this beautiful, colorful thing is here, and then they'll go tell other people, and then they'll talk about that plastic thing, and that will help them remember to come do this. Make sure that their trash is separated and not throw things in the garbage that could be recycled.